What's going on guys, Justin Fuller here. Today I'm out in Salt Lake City, Utah at the Jerry Signer Chevrolet and Cadillac store. And we're getting these guys set up on the Lot Management 360 tool so they can start tracking their keys and their cars anywhere on the lot. So let's hop on in and show you how it works. Guys, so if you want to be able to track your keys in your cars, the first thing we're going to have to do is set up a network out at your dealership, which consists of a couple things. The first being, I put these outside. These are solar powered gateways. They hold about a month worth of charge. They don't require power lines or anything like that. So they're very non-invasive, right? They're just easy to put up, install, and take care of. Now, the second part to this is going to be interior gateways. These are about the size of half a deck of cards, right? Plug it into power outlets or USBs. And this is what's going to allow you to see those keys when they're inside the building. They get shoved in a desk, they get dropped, or wherever they might end up. Now, all of these are talking to a base station. The base station looks a lot like a wireless router and it's gonna hold those data points so that when you run a search on the app or on the desktop dashboard, you'll be able to find them. All right guys, so let's talk about the hardware that we're gonna be using so that you can track your keys, track your cars as they float around on the retail side since this is a lot management tool. If you're interested in tracking keys and cars on the fixed stop side, know that I offer a, 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 an entire product for that, Fixed Stops uh, 360. I'll throw a link actually up there so that you can click on that if you wanna check it out. Maybe it's something you're interested in. Let's talk about lot management. So when it comes to keys, these are the tags that I'm using on the keys, right? So pretty small. I've got a QR code on the back that'll allow you to connect this specific tag up to a, a specific stock number or VIN, right? So to, in this uh, this Mercedes Benz I'm sitting in here, this used one, this is what it looks like and give you an idea for size, right? So not a big tag. So if this is gonna be living on a pegboard, if this is gonna be going into a key machine, if it's gonna be living on those key boxes that live on the window, a lot of different options. We've integrated with pretty much everybody I've listed. Uh, so it'll work, right? Don't worry about that. But if you have questions, feel free to give me a call, text, email. I'd be happy to help you out. Um, now, if you're tracking your vehicles, I offer these standard tracking tags right here. You just throw it around the rear of your mirror. Uh, and same thing on the back, there's a QR code that allows you connect this specific tag to a specific car. Now, if you have issues with theft or there's an other concern, know that I offer a lot of different tags. I offer this uh, with an accelerometer in it, right? So if it moves in the middle of the night, it'll set off an alert. And you can shoot it over to like your security company or to yourself, right? If you're worried about somebody stealing wheels, uh, catalog converters or entire cars. Uh, and then I have other things, right? I've got OBD2 devices. I've got battery packs that you can hide away in cars. A lot of different options. And maybe you have an FNI sell through product for your cars already, right? Maybe you're using like an Apex or an Icon or an Elos. I integrate with those guys. If you are using them, and you're thinking, hey, be nice to track my keys with them, but my cars I want to keep with these guys, chances are I might work with them. Give me a holler and let me know. Uh, we can figure out if we work together already. So these are the items that we're using to track the keys, track the cars as they float around. So let's hop into the phone app and check out that. All right, guys, so here we are on the phone app, and I want to walk you through a couple things. So what I'm doing is I've taken my phone and I'm mirroring it up onto the screen over here so we can go over two important things. One, how do I run a search, right? How do I find a key? Uh, specifically for this dealership, or how do I find a key in a car, uh, depending on the dealership and what they're tracking. And then two, how do I connect my tags up to specific stock numbers and VINs, right? How do I connect this up to a specific key? How do I connect this up to a specific car, right? So let's walk you through that. First thing we're gonna do, let's run a search, right? So find a key and find a car is what we're gonna hit, that very first button. Now, once we're on that button, it's gonna present you with all of your inventory, right? Whether it's tagged or untagged. So when you're looking at this, if you don't see a key or a car icon next to it, you can tell that it hasn't been tagged. So a perfect example right here is this 2017 Alfa Romeo hasn't been tagged, but that 2019 Alfa Romeo underneath it, you can see that the key has been tagged to this, right? So if I jump into this and pull it up, boom, it's gonna show me where that key is living. So right now I can zoom in and out on this map so I can see that the key is actually out on the front lot in the northeast corner. So for me, that tells me that the key is with a person out there, right? It's not telling me it's inside on their, their pegboard, right? Or in your key machine or wherever that key might live. So very easy to understand. So if I got out there, right? And I know that the key is out here, but there isn't somebody with it, right? So I get out here and me, I will show up on this map as a blue dot, but I'm not uh, still out in Utah. So when I get out there, if I can't find it or you know I get near it, I can hit that find a tag button on the screen here up at the top. And this will actually start pinging this tag, right? So we'll start pinging this tag really fast. So I would hit this 
and then boom, it starts pinging it. You'll see a white ball appear in the middle where it's thinking, and then as I get closer to that tag, so as I walk closer to move into that darker immediate section, and if I go the wrong way, it'll move into that far section, that, that red section, right? So depending on which way I'm going, it's gonna play a little bit of a hot and cold game, or kind of like if you're using metal detector to help me find that tag. So that's how granular this can get to help you out, right? So I'm gonna do one more search just to make things uh, kind of interesting here. We'll scroll down some more and find another car, right? So let's scroll and let's go to this 2015 BMW right here, right? So for the sake of this, just to talk about searches real quick, know that you can also search by stock number, VIN, your make and model, right? So if I'm out on the lot and see him says, hey, do you have any other, uh, you know, BMWs? I could pull this up and run that search, right? I could also use the free search that they have right here to search for anything that might live in the description. Uh, so if it's convertibles that you're looking for, I might search convertibles to see what convertibles are on the lot or whatever the case may be. So know that you can use this search for a few different ways. All right, so let's jump back over here uh, and, and go back into that search, right? So I'm gonna scroll back down here uh, and let's see if we can find that 15 BMW. All right, perfect. So there it is. So boom, click on that. It's gonna show me where it's at. So this is a perfect example. This key right now, I can see it on the map in the building, but what it's telling me up here is that the location is the Chevy sales office, the sales manager's office in the key cabinet. They keep their keys in a cabinet on a pegboard. So I know as a sales guy, you know, keys in, in on the pegboard in the sales office, right? So that way I can quickly go get that key and get out and then try to find that car. Now these guys aren't tracking their cars, but if they were, then I would know where the key and the car are, right? So that's how you run searches. So let's jump back here and talk about uh, connecting tags up. So for the key tags, of course, and then I'm gonna show you how to connect a car tag up as well. Both of these on the back of them have QR codes uh, and they've also got uh, some letters and numbers. And I'll explain exactly what that is in just one second here. So if you need to tag something out, right? You could do them the minute they come off of a truck. You could take a pile of these, put them in your pocket, walk out to a truck of cars you bought at auction, or whether it be new cars that are coming in. I know they're few and far between right now, but that's the scenario, right? So let's go to True Tag Management. I'm gonna click on that. From there, you just have to find your vehicle. Now, if this is something that's currently living in inventory feed, I just gotta search it out. If it's not in the inventory feed yet, you could type in what the stock number of VIN's gonna be, add it in, and then when it lands in your inventory feed, it'll merge those. So know that you can do that too in case you want to do trades the minute they come into your possession. So for the sake of this, let's just pretend it's this 2017 Acura RDX up top. So I would go ahead and click on the key button to tag a key and, a, and the car button to tag a car. So very simple, guys. So key button, I can do that. Now with my phone, it gives me the ability to use the QR reader uh, to scan that tag, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click on that. Uh, yes, I want to allow the app to use it. Uh, and then I'll just simply scan the tag, guys. So it makes it really easy for me to do this. So boom, hit this, and then and establish it. Now, this is a promo tag, so it's obviously not registered to this dealership, and that's what it's prompting me to let me know. But all I would have to do is that, and then I've tagged this tag, right? Same thing for the car. Hit that car button. Same thing, I'm gonna use that QR reader and then I'm just gonna simply scan my tag. Once I hit it, boom, I would just hit assign, right? Obviously, once again, these are promo tags, so these aren't connected. Uh, we haven't established these tags to a specific dealership. So literally, I just tagged a key and a car for a specific uh, piece of inventory in what? 10 seconds while talking with you. So very easy to do. You can do it very quickly. Um, so when it comes to walking out to trucks, cars, things like that to get these things done, doesn't take a long time. Anybody on the team should be able to, or capable of doing this, I should say. So that's the two pieces I wanna show you. Let's hop over to the desktop dashboard. I wanna show you some really cool tricks. Things like, hey, how can I view every single key at the end of the night to make sure they're all made it back in the building? Um, or how can I use this for opening and closing duties for my sales managers? All right, guys, so here we are on the desktop dashboard, and there's a lot going on on the screen here, so I just wanna explain a couple things so you can understand it. So right in the middle, dead center, probably the first thing you notice is the map, right? And you can see all these yellow boxes. So that's where we've geofenced off parts of that dealership that we created by making that network that we talked about earlier, right? These exterior gateways and interior gateways, we set all those up, they talk to the base station, and then we come in here and we customize uh, geofenced areas, right? So this way you can name off certain areas. So when I hover over them, the used lot, the front lot, the Kia lot, right? Kia sells, back lot, whether it be employee parking, whatever it may be, and whatever you call it, right? So all the naming conventions are gonna be based off of what you tell us. So this is 100% customizable here in the center. Now over on the left, you can run those same searches that we talked about on the phone app, right? Search by stock number, search by VIN, your make and model. I can also search by tag versus untagged, you know, certified versus pre-owned uh, versus non-certified. Uh, so a lot of different searches that I can run here and I can search multiple vehicles out and see them on the map all at once. Uh, keys and cars, right? So a little bit more in depth as far as the search goes. Now across the top here, we have this broken out. So if you're tracking keys and cars with us, you'll be able to see your pre-owned keys, right? That first box. So 107 keys are tagged out of the 208. They have a remaining balance of 101. 
Now, new, they have eight tag that have 161. Obviously, this plays a role as far as how you have the inventory uh, management system set up. So what we're pulling may show cars that haven't arrived yet, right? So that all depends on um, you know what you want to do with your DMS and how we which feed we want to grab, right? And then if they were um, you know, tracking inventory, you'd have your pre-owned inventory and you'd have your new inventory here, right? So we've broken this out for you to make it nice and easy. Now, when you come across here, there's some really cool things that you can do, but I wanna talk about a couple things that I brought up. The first being, hey, if I, how, how can I view every single key at the end of the night? So over here at the assets, I have it already turned on keys, but you can select vehicles or keys. So you would wanna be on the keys tab, which I already am. Now at this point, all I gotta do is hit the pins and it's gonna now show me every single key uh, that's tagged at this dealership, right? So most of these should be living at the dealership inside the building. That would make sense, right? That they're in the Cadillac store or in the Chevy store in the building. But at the end of the night, if I see a key like this one, right? This specific one to this Hyundai Accent, I can assume that either somebody's out there with it or it got left perhaps in the car or dropped on the lot. Right, so this makes it very easy just to make sure your assets make it back in the building so that you're not leaving a key to a car sitting out on the lot where somebody could open it up, start it, and potentially drive it off. Right, same thing here. I can click on this single car. It'll pull up and say, okay, that's that 2019 Alfa Romeo. Uh, and, and then I could say, okay, let me grab a sales guy since we're closing down. Hey, Dave, uh, put in the stock number 94830 that I can see on here. I want you to run out there. The car is sitting out there on the map. He'll be able to pull up on his phone, walk out there, and then when he gets out there, if he doesn't see the key laying somewhere, you know, in general or in the car, he can hit that find a tag button that we showed uh, and it'll walk him right up to that key. So this way you can make sure every single key makes it back in the building at the end of the night. You don't necessarily have to use this just for a closing duty. At any point in the day, I could pull this up, right? So if we're having, uh, you know, struggling to find a key, we can pull this up and immediately see if a key is, you know, sitting back here in the service lot or back over here in the back lot south. Uh, know that maybe it just fell out of someone's pocket, right? Things happen. No big deal. Uh, so a great way to use this at closing. Now, as far as opening duties, some cool things that you can do is last sighting. So right here, you can see the last sightings tab for inventory. Uh, and then I'll also have one for keys, which is over here to the far right. What's cool about this is that I'll have these breakdowns of certain windows of time. So in the last, you know, in 72 hours plus, no one has seen these two keys, meaning that these two keys to these cars have left the lot. It's time stamped and they didn't make it back on. Now, one of them's here, now, right? It's made it back on, but it was in that window of time. Um, but at this point, it makes it very easy for me to come in here and go, okay, well, have we worked a, a you know, a loaner paperwork on one of these two stock numbers, right? Whichever one it may be. Because uh, if so, okay, cool. We probably just loaned it out so the key has been off campus because we, you know, extended test drive kind of thing. Um, or did we send it for a recall or anything of that nature? Now, if you did, you might've came in here uh, to this specific vehicle, gone into the activities and added a note, right? Dropped on a note here that said something specific to, you know, loaned out or whatever it may be, loaned out, and then, you know, whatever the date may be, right? So, you know, 7.7.22. .7 um, you know what I mean? Or you can put the customer's name or whatever it may be, or, hey, loaned it out to a, you know, a, a sales guy, he, you know, if it was a truck and he needed to move something, whatever the case may be, or sent over to such and such for a recall, right? You know, if, if, if there was a specific recall in this Audi. So know that you can kind of put together a story so that you can make sure that your inventory and your keys, right? Keys being tied to inventory um, are, are, are where they should be. Um, so it just allows you to manage those assets from a little bit better standpoint. Now, another cool way that you can use this tool here, so let me clear out my searches, is over here in the photo status. What's really cool about this is right now it's showing me uh, that they have 142 vehicles that have more than 15 photos, because that's the threshold they selected um, that, that, that have photos, right? So there are 223 vehicles that do not yet. Now, some of these vehicles may not be on the lot yet, uh, but they aren't tracking their cars. If they were, they'd be able to pull up this list, uh, hand it to their photo booth guy and say, hey, here are you know 223 cars, which is a lot, right? Realistically, this is probably 50 um, or so. And say, hey, these 50 cars haven't been seen or haven't had photos taken yet. I need you to get on these. Now, if I'm managing that guy, I can turn this map off, look at these and go, okay, well, let me sort this by days in inventory, which I don't know if you can catch on the very end over here, but I'm gonna flip it again to the oldest at the top, right? So if I have a car like this very top one that's 400 days old, um, there's probably a story to this, right? I might click on the notes and we have something listed out that, oh, you know, this is loaned out to the, you know, the owner's wife or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, so, you know, when I start looking at this, you know, cars that are under 10 days old that, that haven't had photos taken, no big deal. Maybe my guy comes once a week if I'm paying it outsourced, or maybe just hasn't got there yet. He's, he's a little bit behind, right? He's down a man. But when I see any of these cars that are like 30 plus days old, why do these vehicles not have photos? That's a question as a manager I should be asking myself because we can all agree that when it comes to pre-owned cars, the chances of selling one that has photos versus doesn't have photos is drastically different. Right, so I want to make sure that I can make this guy uh, more efficient. And if he's able to click on these and immediately see where a key and where a car are, right, which he can't on these specific ones, um, how much more powerful would that be, right? How much faster could this guy do his job if he knew where a key was? 
if he knew where a car was, right? Uh, so that's just different ways you can kind of apply this and use it. So know that you can help manage other staff outside of just the guys who are genuinely looking for keys and cars on the regular, but you can also make some of these people more efficient. Now over here at manual entries, I wanna talk about this real quick. Manual entries is gonna be for anything that doesn't currently exist in your inventory feed. So if you wanna track things like golf carts, golf cart keys, uh, dealer plates, right? Jump boxes, you know, whatever the item may be that grows legs. Maybe you have uh, like iPads that you use inside of the dealership to fill out finance paperwork online. Uh, and they kind of get shoved in desks or left around. Uh, how nice would it be able to be, just be able to connect one of these tags up to one, uh, right? To whatever that item may be. Um, I had a guy who, who used these in his warehouse because he had an issue with shrinkage of some high, uh, high priced items that seemed to be walking off and he was thinking it might be employee related. Well, he just zip tied these to some of those items. And that way the minute it left, it timestamp, it told him to pull up the camera, see who took it at what time, what car drove off the lot, he could put it together and he knew who was taken from it. So a lot of different ways you can apply this outside the norm of just tracking keys or just tracking cars, right? Uh, so just know that you can take advantage of that from the manual entry aspect, right? So I'm not gonna go over the entire uh, list here. Uh, I think you guys can understand how this works. Uh, you know, if you wanna set up a demo and talk more about this and understand how you can track keys, how you can track cars, be more than happy to do that. Uh, not hard to do. Uh, we'd be happy to set something up so that you can come in here and be able to find your keys quickly, right? Or find your cars if you're tracking those as well. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you tuning in and checking out how to track your keys and your cars on the Lot Management 360 tool with TrueSpot. If you have any questions about how this works, you want to get pricing, get an idea, I would love to set up a demo with you. Ways you can reach me, I will throw up at the end of this so that you can see a way to call me, text me, email me, or set up a demo if you'd like. I'd love to talk about your store, get a feel for you know what you have going on. Do you have multiple lots? Do you have a parking structure that you want to track in? I can help you out with that. Do you want to look at tracking on the fixed stop side or maybe look at a recon tool that'll use all this location-based software to track as it moves through these steps? I offer software on all of this. Or if your store even has a collision center, I can help you track those keys and cars as they work through it as well. So feel free to reach out to me. Of course, Justin Fuller, Director of Digital Sales here for TrueSpot. Look forward to talking to you. Later, guys!